we are going to make a website through Wix from scratch. Let's skip these pre-made packages. Skip button. What would you like to call your website? Put the name in here. Don't get excited. I am just making something up for this video. What are your goals for this site? Feel free to click some. I'm just going to skip. And more stuff that I am going to skip. We're all set. How would you like to design your website? This is easy. Continue with setup. We'll take you back to your dashboard. We are going to completely ignore the AI feature. I imagine using it would only make your life easier, but we are going to try to customize a template. Now look at all these options or don't and just click on the blank templates. We have a lot of options, even with blank templates, but I am going to show you from the absolute cleanest slate possible because I love building something from nothing. I love completely blank templates. I love blank so much that I literally changed my name to blank. I digress. It has to load all of the nothing you just selected. And here we are. You can dive right into putting the site together with add elements, but I recommend you go to site design first. Here we have our site theme. You can change anything you put anywhere individually, but these are your default colors, text, backgrounds, everything. This is the default. You see they have all these pre-made colors, but none of them really match what look you're going for. I mean, I'm making a website for soapy fans, for my example. So I want this to be clean. I'm thinking white, light blue, blue. We have to pick some text that will really make an impact. Yes, it's a play on words. We can pick a background for the whole page. You can upload images, videos, pick a color, or use something from the Wix library. Again, this is going to be your default across every page of your website. So I suggest something simple, but I'm going to use a video for this example site. We have some settings to mess with the video too. Look at that, we have our home page and defaults all set. So here is a footer. This is at the bottom of every single page on your website. At the top is the header, and this is where we will put a menu for site navigation. Add elements. You have some options here to choose from. I like this one with the boxes for Soapy, but we only have a home page button right now because we only have a home page. Let's add a page. You'll see this button here new page, you'll see a bunch of options again, and you can click one of these to get a layout and just change whatever is featured in each spot, or you can click to add a blank page, which is of course what I will do, then name it. Oh, don't like the name? Maybe it doesn't match what you've done with the other pages? You can easily rename it. Okay, now that we have more than one page, how do we navigate? You can see which page you're on if you click on the top left here. You can also navigate to a different page from here. Now a website is a visual place, so let's add something nice to look at. You can upload an image here. You'll want to upload something from your computer. We are going to pretend that this AI option does not exist. I do not recommend it, especially right now. I recommend having a folder for your whole website, keeping your images for it there too. I've picked out this iconic box of soap. You can add information to the image if you want or make other edits here. I'm going to click the add to page button. The footer is up a bit high, so I'm just going to drag that down. We can drag this image. I'm going to make it nice and center. We have all kinds of settings here. We can edit the image. I'm going to click on the little settings cog and let's make a little change here so that if someone clicks on the image, nothing happens. You can use this to connect links to images if you want to, which is really handy for site navigation. Now for your footer, you can add information, social media, things that you think would be handy to have at the bottom of every page. This is looking pretty good so far. Let's test out our website. You can see an option here to preview your site. It lets you move around as if you were visiting the site. Here you can see our about page, which I have only indicated my last name on. Or we can pop over to our home page, the page everyone will see when they first land on our website.
Preview is done, but we have a bit of an issue. As I've mentioned on my other Wix tutorial, you can only make 100 static pages. That is exactly what we have here for our homepage and about page. So we only have 98 pages left, unless we use dynamic pages. There's no limits placed on dynamic pages, and you can add them here. Pick a template. You can change these up later to have different layouts, but right now we're just going to go with this one. Here we have our CMS. This is where you upload content that shows on your dynamic page. It works a little differently than the other pages. You can navigate back to the screen by clicking on the CMS tab to the left. Now everything you've done so far also has a mobile version. Check it out by clicking on this mobile icon at the top of your screen. Okay, this is all you actually need to get started making a website. From here you add elements and build it up to your preferences. So go out there and make something beautiful. Try to make the world a little better, a little brighter, and help someone else out there.